when you purchase an EV, if it qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit, you can get it at the point of purchase as part of your down payment. Or if it's a used car, you can get up to $4,000 up front for the same purpose. Well, so far this year, first five months of the year, it's already been $1 billion have been issued. 125,000 people have taken advantage of the $7,500 tax credit. 25,000 people have taken advantage of the $4,000 previously owned EV tax credit. So that's 150,000 people. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? Well, it's going well. All right. So today we're going to cover how much an EV tax credits have been issued so far this year for the purchase of new EVs in the United States. Something kind of surprising. I would not have guessed the number was this big. But this year, it became possible when you purchase an EV, if it qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit, you can get it at the point of purchase as part of your down payment. Or if it's a used car, you can get up to $4,000 up front for the same purpose. Well, so far this year, first five months of the year, it's already been $1 billion have been issued. Billion dollars, yeah, yeah. That has been quite overwhelming. Which is interesting, of course, in the context of what we talked about the last time, which was the fact that dealers are complaining that their dealerships aren't getting the reimbursement in time. Yeah. Yeah. They're not getting paid fast enough, but the federal government has paid $1 billion for new and used electric vehicles as an upfront cash incentive to car buyers. The advance payment started on January 1st. The credits, $7,504,000, were previously available only when EV buyers filed their annual tax returns. Yeah, it does. 125,000 people have taken advantage of the $7,500 tax credit and 25,000. I mean, obviously, these are rounded off numbers. But 25,000 people have taken advantage of the $4,000 previously owned EV tax credit. So that's 150,000 people. Yeah. And these numbers, you know, people always say, oh, it's just the entitled rich people who can do this. Well, the problem is if you're over a certain income threshold, you don't qualify. Right. So to get the used tax credit, you have to make under $75,000 a year. So it is designed to be different. And there's a lot of state programs, too, that are incentivized, like we talked about, somebody buying a Nissan Leaf for $700 the other day in Colorado. And uh, I'm still tickled to death that she got she heated steering wheel on a car for $700. Yeah, here it is. I don't even have that online. <laughs> <laughs> I do have heated seats, so which I really like. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty big deal. So in April 24, the average purchase price for electric new cars was 55000 versus about 45000 for gas cars. Now, that still tells you, though, that people, when they're buying EVs, are choosing to buy more expensive EVs because there are starting to be some. But when you take that same $55,000 and you add a $7,500 tax credit, and if you live in one of the states that also adds it, chips in a few thousand more for the state, you're at this same price point. Yep. Well, and, you know, in addition to that, you know, people talk about, I mean, that's the average for an EV, but uh, Nissan just rolled not, yeah, Nissan just rolled out their uh, new Leaf, and that new Leaf is less than $30,000 without the tax credits, less than $30,000. So you're talking, you're talking, you know, under twenty five, twenty four thousand. And then the Hyundai Kona is starting to be brought in on less than that price as well. Yeah. Um, average prices for new EVs declined by nine percent in the first quarter versus the same period last year. A lot of it is, is there's just more and more availability of less expensive models. Well, that too, and there's somewhat of put to, you take for example down in australia both uh, tesla and byd are, are you know having uh cars piling up on the uh dockside uh, storage areas and there i saw a headline didn't get a chance to look at it real closely but it talked about there being a fire sale down there you know some of these car companies are really taking it cuts to the uh to the bottom line to move those cars off those parking lots well let me see there are limitations on the ev tax credit availability 90% of transactions for new EVs that qualified for an advance payment, a clean, new clean vehicle tax credit. 80% of qualified buyers took the 4000 on the used ones. I guess that's saying that 20% of people didn't take the money up front? Well, either that or didn't qualify or, or something. Yeah. 
And the dealer didn't tell them about it. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I imagine they probably made too much money to qualify. It's probably what happened in these where it, it didn't quite work out. Um, Senate Republicans introduced a measure to end the federal tax credits and a separate one to end the tax breaks for EV charging stations. Well, falling in line with the uh, the L leader. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. That It's already been shown they're not going to pass it. There's not even enough support amongst Republicans to cover it if they even dominated uh, the House. Yeah, what do we need? We need one more uh, representative to... Uh resign or retire or whatever and everything gets thrown in the mix at that point so <laughs> well uh, you get issues where people um don't really support or they don't understand some of the laws that have been passed i mean one of the things that's so complex about our government is we have so many laws nobody really knows all the laws i mean hi i'm david with eb world news if you like this video then please press the like button if you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.